the modest athletic wear industry is lacking. Assalamualaikum everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Ice2 and I'm on a modest wear journey so I've been doing a lot of videos related to modest wear clothing and for example like I have some gym bab hauls on here. I have a modest swimwear haul where like I compare modest swimsuits from different brands. And now I'm doing an athletic wear haul because recently I went to the gym and like I was very active in high school but again I wasn't that modest like I just wear like a tight like long sleeve top usually nike or adidas or something and then some like leggings i've recently decided that i want to get fit again and i went to the gym and i had on those same like stuff i used to wear back in high school and i didn't feel comfortable i was like wait like hmm i don't feel comfortable just walking around in just leggings anymore so like usually when i go to the gym when i'm walking home i just walk home in my athletic wear but when i was walking home in my leggings i was just like nah this is not like this is not gonna work with my modest wear journey so i decided that i needed to buy some new workout clothes and i found this one brand called veiled garments i believe and so i have three of their items here this is not sponsored i really had to you know take a take a portion of my budget for this one thing i will say is that for one if you know any athletic wear brands that you want me to check out please link them down below i talked about this on my instagram but i feel like as if the modest athletic wear industry is lacking um i feel like everyone was competing for hijabs but then forgot about the other stuff so like you can find amazing hijabs in so many different places I'll oh, shout out Asiya is a great like um, athletic hijab brand. They even work with like girls on the run and stuff. Um, and then you know of course all the big brands Adidas, Nike, they all have hijabs. But when it comes to like actual workout clothes, I could not find that many options. I went on Modenisa and I didn't really like their options. I found another brand, I don't remember the name. All of their athletic wear pieces were on clearance and like they were like we're not restocking this anymore so I'm like are you discontinuing it or are you coming up with a new line like i was just confused and i was gonna purchase from them but honestly i didn't like the colors that were in stock and i felt like it would be a waste of my money to buy workout clothes and colors that i know i won't really want to wear often because the idea behind this is i'm gonna buy a few and wear them like all the time so just to tell you guys a bit about veiled garments let me pull up their website so honestly they don't have much about like their brand but their website is veilgarments.com and i purchased their halo running hoodie um, i purchased it in three colors and the reason why i got it is because i feel like it's very convenient the hijab is connected to the workout top which is what i wanted really what i'm gonna do is just like try and find longer tops and just wear them with the leggings i used to wear in the past so each one of them was $49 but then I had like a 15% off coupon code and there was free two day shipping which was nice. They have really good reviews. I went on their Instagram. It seems like they, they're not stressing like they don't have that much marketing like I'm telling you like they're one of the only brands I could find like when I look up Matt Modest Activewear you have a bunch of ads for like you know whatever and then you have like a few that are like a lot of the modest active wear that you'll find is luxury like like it's ugh, i'm a business student so it's kind of hard for me to but like basically um their positioning is as like a luxury active wear brand it's not as like an affordable one so for example there's like dignity and dignity theirs cost like $90 like $100 for each item I just found another one which I don't even like this stuff but I I'm not gonna mention this one because some of this stuff is not cute what else and then you see veil garments Amazon I didn't like what I saw on Amazon it was just lacking y'all like i really was not happy with the choices so i feel like brands need to do better on that end like there's just not that many options like even like i went through nike's website i couldn't find anything i know that some women will buy from like the men's section but like i didn't even see anything i wanted there so 
yeah like i'm looking through adidas website just right now because they had an ad and i'm not seeing nothing i'm not seeing nothing and then i reached out to someone i follow on instagram she's like really into fitness i asked her i was like do you know any active wear brands that you would recommend she was like all the ones i've looked at are super expensive so i never end up purchasing and i was like yeah she's right like they're all expensive there's no affordable ones the affordable ones aren't all that so anyways enough ranting about the lack of options let's talk about the option i did find which was well garden so this is the packaging came super fast and i got in three colors so this this one is i got in a size small because it was out of stock in a medium so we'll see but it should fit me like i'm I'm small, but I prefer to purchase mediums, like, because smalls tend to be kind of tight. It's, like, weird, but, yeah, so this is it. Does it have pockets? So it does not have a pocket. Oh, yes, it does. It has one pocket, guys, on the side here. And then it has, like, these zipper things. <laughs> that like i don't i don't know what the purpose is but if you wanted to unzip it it has it on both sides so you can do that and then it has a hole for your face so the idea is you're not supposed to have to wear a hijab let's hope that's the case because i was i was looking at reviews not for this brand but for another brand and some people were saying like the hole's too wide blah blah so i don't know and i also got it in a black which I thought was just unnecessary like why would I get any color without getting black so this one I don't know if all of them do but this one oh yeah they do but this one it shows more they have like the logo on the top corner and then again it's the same exact style so yeah and then I also got a gray one So this is the gray one and I'm going to wear this one today at the gym so hopefully if I'm not shy probably won't be I will record in the gym and let you guys know what I think about this so yeah that's the plan and again these are size mediums and then the blue is a size small okay I just put this on immediate reactions the hole for the face is a bit big this is the size medium. This is the black one. Let me try to lower this so you guys can see how I'm standing. I just put on the black one and it fits. This is a medium. The head is a bit big, as you can tell. So if I was you, I would wear it like this. Like I feel comfortable wearing it as a hijab, but I would wear it under a scarf with it. Um, and I have a really big head, so yeah if you want to use me as a reference my head is big so if you have a small head then expect it to be big on you and then these are the little zip things they don't go up that high and then the pocket is right here that's how it looks from the back not bad not bad it's really loose this is the size medium again which i feel like is my true size okay so here's the gray one which is what i plan on wearing today um and of course it's just like the black one and again i have on an underscarf with it i will say i understand why the head is not tight because if it was tight it would be uncomfortable so if you're sweating and everything i guess this is nice but again you might want to get an underscarf honestly i feel like i could get away with not wearing underscarf but mm, i don't know okay so this is the last one and i'm sure you can kind of tell the difference this one is tighter because this is the size small um so yeah I mean it fits me like i knew it was gonna fit me it's just a matter of preference so yeah this is that one the head is almost the same size like if it is smaller it's by like less than a centimeter so yeah um i 
I'll let you guys know what I think at the gym. the gym wanted to do a quick review i really like this i think it's a bit thick like if you're going to do a workout outside in the middle of summer um it changes color with sweat which kind of sucks um but overall it's really nice like i really like it so yeah it's really modest um i don't have an underscarf on and it's perfectly fine so yeah but you can see it changes color which kind of sucks but it's nice so I'm back home and uh, I know I was really rushing when I was doing my review in the gym because I had I had to rush to leave. But um, yeah, honestly, I really like this, guys. I think for the price, I mean, it seems like it's good quality. It does feel like really good quality. I wish they had like a lightweight version because I, I just I feel like this material is kind of thick like I, I do think it's kind of thick but again like I said I think for gym purposes it's fine but if you're someone who likes to do outdoor workouts I mean if you're trying to sweat then sure personally I don't like to I don't do a lot of cardio I'm trying to gain muscle um so I don't care about sweating a lot but I mean, for some people that might actually be a plus I don't know I think overall it's nice I will say like like I said um you actually don't need an underscarf. It was fine. It did not slip for me, but I do have a big head, so I don't, <laughs> I don't know if you want to take my word for that. But yeah, I was really comfortable working out in this. I like how it fits. I like, I like the feel. So can't complain. Yeah. And I feel like it looks like it's intentional you know what i'm saying like if i feel like if you saw me in the gym you'd be like oh she's a hijabi you know like like i i, I think um the way it is structured makes it clear that i'm not just wearing a hoodie in the gym for fun like i'm a whole hijabi okay so that wraps it up for this video thank you so much for watching guys and let me know if you have any questions Again, if you have any suggestions for brands I should check out, please leave a comment down below and let me know. Thank you. Bye, guys.